Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my Average Dad 1710 Plus series. Um, I want to try and do a couple of things today. The first thing I want to do is I want to get my T construct up and running here. Um, we've already got a good start here being in this village, so what we're going to do is just going to grab, pull these corners out of here because we don't really need these. And let's just take these out real quick. And then once we get some T construct up and running, um, I'm going to want to go down and do some mining. Um, but I want to try and have a hammer up and running first. So let's see here. So we need to get some drains. So let's get three drains here. So this is kind of how I normally build my T-construct uh, thing here. And then this can be a drain or the controller. And this will be the where we can put our lava. So we're stuck with 14 blocks left. Let's see if we can get a second layer above here and let's take this one out five left that's plenty so one two three so we're gonna have a thing three high two blocks left we need one more block because we need to build a um, let's just do this here we need to build a, uh, a tool bench an improved tool bench so we're gonna do this just take these back and drop them in here. Now what we need to do is we need to get a bit of gravel and we need a bit of sand because we need to make our... Where's the sand here? I don't think I can use the coarse dirt here. A bit of a lag spike. Uh, I might encounter a few lag spikes as I'm playing. Um, I updated my computer and for some reason the 1710 pack I was getting a lot of intermittent lag spikes so I installed Optifine got that working but I still get these intermittent lag spikes and I'm not sure why my machine's a lot better than my old one um, I just I have no idea why it's doing it but uh, anyway alright so we got a bit of sand here um, we're only gonna need to make a few bricks we have to find some gravel we're gonna sleep first we're gonna put our bed in here And we'll keep it in here for now so we've got our spawn point set. Then we're going to head out and look for some gravel, a little bit more sand. Um, I know we said we're going to trade with villagers, but we might do that a little later. Let's get this T-construct thing up and running here first. Um, we'll come back and raid this house here in a second. So here's another little lag spike there. Not exactly sure. It's not really like a... I know I got 10 gigs of RAM allocated to this thing, so I'm not sure why it's so laggy. And their lag spike. But I'll try not to uh, get into some lag here just by walking slowly. So, yeah, I'm going to wander around. I'm going to grab some sand and gravel, and I will be right back. Alright, so we're back at the house. We got uh, a little bit of stuff here some flint, uh, 24 gravel. I picked up uh, some more ink and some more sugar cane. Got lots of spread sand here, a little bit of iron, some uh, aluminum. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly make some grout here. I think what I'll do is I'll make 16, th so it'll be 32 grout. Alright, so 16 of each of these and then we need 16 clay. Uh, and I guess red sand doesn't count as sand. Well, that's interesting. I thought it would have worked for sure. Actually, what we'll do is we'll leave these guys in here. Um, that's shocking. I thought for sure the red sand would have functioned the same as regular sand, but I guess not. So we can use that for glass for later. So I'm going to have to go back out and get some sand. And Is it the end of the day yet? Almost. But um, yeah, so we'll be back when I have the sand. All right, so we've got enough materials finally to make some grout here make ourselves 32 grout and we're going to cook it up so what we'll do is I managed to find a bunch of stuff while I was out um, picked up four iron in the middle of town I'm not sure where that came from there's a few iron golems now walking around out there so it could have been from one of them so let's put our grout in here and we'll get four coal so let's get that going and let's open up another furnace here and then we will take our I picked up some red sand. It doesn't, apparently doesn't qualify as regular sand for making grout, but 
That's okay, we're going to use our red sand and make some glass from it, because we're going to need some glass. And I have some sandwiches here. And looks like we got some copper down in here, so I'm going to dig this out a little bit. And pick up some free pistons, because why not? We're going to have need for pistons later on for sure. So there's only one copper, not a big deal. Alright, so let's just fill this in a little bit. Um, drop that in there, maybe we'll just fill it in with red sand, because why not? There we go. And lots of that, there we go. So let's see how we're doing here. Five, three, we only need one of these guys. And f um, we need eight of those to make... Right, so we need three for a bucket. We're going to need to get some lava, which is why I'm trying to figure out what we're going to need here. So let's get this tank finished really quick, and then we'll go out and try and find some lava. Maybe pick up some more materials while we're out. Um, there we go, there's our tank and our T-Construct book, and we're going to make ourselves a bucket. Alright, now we're going to head out and see if we can find some lava. Let's have a look at the map real quick here. If there's anything really close. There's some lava over here. Um, that's kind of the closest bit, looks like. So it looks like we're heading uh, northwest there a little bit. Unless we go over here. Maybe we'll go over here, because we haven't been this way really that much. So we're going to head straight east, which is this way. Go pick up some lava. Try and find some stuff along the way. Ooh, looks like there's another... Uh, I can't get in there. Come on, man. Free money. Yeah! So, the uh, creatures in this version will randomly drop whatever it is they normally drop. Which is why I think I found four iron in the town. I think that was from the iron golem. Just uh, just dropped iron randomly, I guess. So... Alright, some more cows. I'll try to get a backpack going here. Um, so let's get the cows. On my way to the lava. Don't run. Stop running. Hmm. What should we have here? Four. Not bad. Let's put the emerald in there. So our lava should be right over there where all the fire is. Alright. So, once we get our uh, T-Construct building up and running, the next thing we want to do is get into Miscraft a little bit. Um, the only reason why I do this right away is, is it, it's an excellent way to be able to transfer yourself quickly throughout the world. So let's just throw this down. Pick up our lava here. One, two, three, four, and one extra. It's just so we have it. Excellent. Now we can head back. Um, yeah, so let's just head straight back. We don't really need anything else here right away. Um, so as I was saying, we want to get our Mistcraft up and running. Um, because that's going to allow us to transfer all over the world. And go out and do, doing some good exploring. Not being having to, to be totally afraid of getting really far away from home and having, you know, full inventories and stuff. Because we'll just be able to transfer right back home. And I'll show you how to do that. It's really handy. First of all, once we get this T-Construct up and running, we can be able to make ourselves a good set of tools here. I really want the hammers more than anything, um, just so that we can do a lot of fast mining. I mean, ultimately we want to try and get a uh, um, Alamite hammer. Because it lasts forever. Okay, so we got this. We're going to need a controller. We don't need the glass right now. So we're going to need a controller. I don't know if we've got enough uh, material here. So we're going to need, for sure, one smeltery drain and one, um, what are they called? Seared faucet. So this guy is going in here. And we're going to drop our drain. Let's drop it right here for now, because we want to drain this into, uh, drain our metal into the, um, 
bins here. So we're gonna bring the other one around to this side. Two is fine. I normally like having three of these on the go, but two will be fine. Oops, I put it in there. There we go. And we'll go back. Let's see how much more we've got here. Another six for another drain. I don't think we have enough. We're gonna need to make some more. So one more drain. And let's see here. So we're gonna use up the rest here. So eight, eight, and eight. Make some more grout. Two of these. Yeah, see we need a lot more. Split it up so we can do this faster. All right, and we can put our stuff away here. So we only got four leather. I thought we made a backpack last time. It's been a while, so I guess we haven't. But we'll have to definitely make one. There's three, so it's another faucet. So we can now make a faucet. And we're going to take our iron here. Uh, let's take all of it out. I don't think we are... Hmm. I need two more drains. We'll be able to start the iron anyway. We can get nine going now. So we just throw nine in here. It's going to melt that down. It's going to double our ore for us. So rather than getting nine iron, we'll have 18. We're going to need 36 to make a um, proper bench for uh, here we go, another drain here. A, a proper bench. So we have enough to make Uh, yeah, just barely enough. So another faucet, another, another drain, I mean. So now we can just put these in here and here. And once this is melted, we'll be able to throw all this in here. Excellent. So that's 18. So we'll faucet it out into two iron blocks. And do we have another drain? We're gonna need one. Ah, we're short. Of course we're short. Which means I need more s gravel. Got sand, but I need gravel. Ah, that's fine. All right, it's becoming nighttime, so let's just sleep. And then we'll go get our iron out of there, and then we'll make all our tea construct stuff. We'll put it along here, I think. Um, Mostly wood. We're just going to need those three seared. Uh, we're going to need, where are they here? That's dark steel. We're going to need three of these and a bunch of iron. All right. So what else do we have in here that we've got at least nine of? We're going to need some copper in the future, but we don't need it right now. Actually, we're going to make bronze armor. We could do that in the workbench here. We got... 10, uh, let's grab 9 copper, and we've got osmium, we want to do osmium for tools, uh, 1 iron, I thought we had grabbed more tin, but I guess we've only got 3, okay, fair enough, we'll have to go find some. Should really fill this hole in. Okay, let's see how we did here. These two, two more, and then we'll have enough for what we need to do right away. So let's drop in the copper and the osmium right now. Um, copper for sure. Yeah, let's drop it in. Okay, let's go inside and make our T-Construct stuff now. So T-Construct, other than needing the iron um, for the tool station, it's really easy to do stuff for this for this mod, so that's why I like it here. So we're going to need a couple of things. We need a workbench or a crafting table. We're going to need a chest. And we're going to need some sticks. So what we want to do is make some patterns. And we're going to need to do a stencil table. You can see we got our our books here to explain how to do things. 
and we're going to need to grab a some Acadia wood, just regular Acadia wood block to make a part builder. We're going to need the crafting table to make a tool station and a pattern chest for all our patterns. But the tool station we use now to make a tool forge, which is allowing us to make the better T-construct items, um, which is why I like to do that, kind of do that, get that over with right away. We're going to need a few more patterns, so let's make a couple more. Um, just so that we can make all the T-construct stuff we want to make. Alright, uh, we're also going to need a secondary chest I like to keep by. So, stencil table first, we're going to put it here. Then we're going to put our part builder here. We're going to put our pattern chest in the middle. And we want to put our tool forge here. And then we want to put uh, another regular workbench. Uh, T-construct workbench, that is. We're going to want to put that here, and then we're going to put our last chest over here. And so what we do is we fill this with patterns, and now we need... Do we have cobble? We don't have any granite, so we're going to have to go out... Um, yeah, I'm going to go out real quick, and I'm going to grab some um, cobblestone, because we need cobblestone for this to make parts. So I'm going to go do that first real quick, and then I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, so I picked up a few things while I was out. Found a little bit more osmium. Found a bunch of rhyolite. Uh, some gravel I picked up. Uh, found a little bit of aluminum. These I grabbed from the T-Construct building close by. Uh, they're made of obsidian. So I'm gonna actually throw those in the smeltery um, so I can make an obsidian pickaxe head. Now, the one thing we do need though is gold. So we're gonna need to do this. Uh, actually, we'll leave one here. I think we're probably gonna need to put all those in because we need gold for patterns. Uh, I'm gonna put these four T-Construct books into here. Keep things a little organized, I think. Um, so yeah, so we're going to put these in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make some patterns. So we're going to need a hammerhead pattern. We're going to need a large plate pattern. And we're going to need a tough rod pattern. Then we're also going to need a pickaxe head pattern. Uh, we're going to need a tool binding pattern and we're also going to need a tool rod pattern. Now what we're going to do is we're going to toss these in here. So the hammerhead pattern you can see here when I take it out it tells you how many um, it's going to use. So this is a material cost 8 so it'll cost 8 uh, cobblestone to make this hammerhead. So take that out and we can put our pattern in here. And the same thing with a large plate it's going to cost 8 so we need to take that out. We might need a couple of those but for right now we're going to leave it in there. Um, tool rod stone, put that in there. We're also going to need stone pickaxe head and we're going to need a stone binding. Now you can see this is like half, right? So it's giving me the stone binding plus basically a stone shard which is half of stone piece, right? So we're just going to throw the stone shard up there and use it to make our tool rod pattern which only costs a half which gives us our last piece here. We're going to throw that in there. So we can only make, we're going to need two gold per pattern so we can only make four patterns. We have to decide now what we're going to do. I'm thinking it's going to be the stone pickaxe head. Uh, it's going to be the stone hammer head, obviously, the stone plate, and the tough tool rod. And these two here, we're just going to make... Um, we're just going to have these out of stone. We don't, we're not going to use these for uh, um, making patterns with for at this moment. We're going to get some old gold later on and do that. So it's nighttime, so let's sleep. And we'll get back outside and get, get uh, T-constructing some stuff. So each material in T-Construct, if you look in the book, you'll be able to find out what each material does. But in this case, we're going to be using iron because that's what we have a lot of. Um, now, how much do we have left in here? 18. That's probably going to... Well, it might not be enough. Let's throw these blocks back in. we got 14 osmium, 18 copper. So let's drain the copper out because we're only going to use this to make bronze with for our armor. Now, the sad thing about T-Construct is you can't actually make armor in there. So, now I did find some more osmium. Let's drop that in. We have 14 in there. 14, 16, 18. So that'll give us enough for two blocks. So let's melt that up as well. And we'll drop this in here. Okay, so, 
Uh, what we need to do, let's take this out. Oh yeah, we have to melt our gold up, so let's do that. Gold melts pretty fast, goes pretty quick here, so. And then what we want to do is we want to take our patterns. We're going to steal a drain here. Or a faucet, we'll put it there. Once our gold is melted, we'll be able to put some, make some casts here. So we got 36 iron in there. We should have 18 osmium in a second, too. Now, I don't think osmium actually works with T-Construct because it comes from mechanism. And I don't think it, you can actually make osmium parts here. Uh, I've never actually tried it, not that it really matters, but um, I prefer making single tools out of the osmium anyway, because much, they're much faster. So we've got our gold molds here, we can make eight. So we're going to make a hammerhead mold. Let's just throw these down here. We can pull that out. We're going to make a faceplate mold here. And a rod mold and then a pickaxe head mold. So we're going to make a pickaxe head. Oh, I didn't melt up my... Uh, let's put those in there. Those take a while. Obsidian takes a while to melt. So while we're melting those, we're going to make ourselves a iron hammer here. Uh, this is going to be our first hammer. We're only going to use it for a while. Uh, I'm going to make the whole thing out of iron, uh, only because it gives it a greater durability. So let's just uh, do this. So it's going to take eight iron to fill this up. Eight iron for each of these plates, and then another three for the uh, uh, rod here. So it's going to cost us 27 iron to make this hammer. So let's do this guy. So these heads, these stone heads, if you, are, are pieces that you've made molds out of. Um, unless you need them for some reason, I just ditched them. Um, stone pickaxe head we're not going to need. We're going to need to make these, to use these to make the pickaxe with, but we don't need the heads for anything. So we got two of those, and then it's just a tough rod after this. And then once the obsidian is melted, which it is, we have one ingot for it. So one and a half, one and a half ingots. We only need one, so. Alright, put that in there. And then... Once this guy is done, we'll go in and we'll change the bottom one to obsidian, and we're going to make an obsidian pickaxe head. Now, obsidian's pickaxe heads are great because early in the game, if you if you don't actually find diamond and you do find obsidian in a T-construct building, you can melt it and make an axe head, and you can use it to actually mine obsidian with, which is great, right? Because normally you need diamond for that, right? But um, it does take it. It is actually pretty good. It's, half decent speed but it's got really low durability so let's put these guys in here and break the copper down uh, let's make the armor second so we're gonna go into our tool forge here and we're gonna choose our hammer and uh, hammer is a broad mining tool harvest blocks in a wide range and is effective against undead but it's a three by three mining area rather than just mining one block at a time we, we can mine nine which is great so I'm gonna make the whole thing out of iron and it tells you right here the durability um, so in uh, regards to duration, you can see the stone pickaxe has got a hundred mine on 131 blocks. This guy will mine almost 3,000 blocks. Mining speed doesn't show on this one. But this is actually pretty slow, but since you're mining nine blocks at a time, it's actually not bad. And because it's made out of iron, right, it's an iron level mining, so you can mine diamond and gold and everything with it. So we're going to pull that out of there. Now we can add modifiers to this, so if we had like lots and lots of redstone, we could actually speed up its actual mining capability, but this is our just our first uh, mining tool that we're going to be knocking down a lot of stuff with. Um, eventually, like I said, we're going to have alumite, and that's the one we're going to be applying all our modifiers to, so we're not going to waste it on the iron hammer. Alright, so now our pickaxe. This one's going to have a low, really low durability. Um, only because it's got these, these are stone and this is obsidian, right? So durability says 44 here. Uh, I think if we hit shift, yeah, durability four, 44, effective durability 32, or 62. So we can mine 62 blocks with this. So I make this and I only use it to mine obsidian. However, it is lucky. It's got plus one looting luck on it. Well, that's fortunate. But do All right, so we've got that. So next thing we want to do 
is let's make some armor. We don't have a lot of stuff to make armor with, but there's four, eight, and then three more copper and 12. So we can make, we've already got our, oops, we've already got our pants, right? So let's make a chest piece and a pair of boots. We can worry about the helmet later, but we've got enough material to make that. So now we've got six armor. That's not bad. Let's go back out. We're going to pull out our osmium out of here. So we've got 18 osmium, and we're going to use this to make all our other tools with. So let's grab this off of here, put it there, and then we can drain two at a time. So cool. Let's have another sandwich. Well, it's just really bread. I like to call it a sandwich. It's a bread sandwich. All right. So here's our osmium. Now the great thing about osmium is it's got really good durability and they're really fast tool speeds. So if I'm making just standard tools, osmium is always my go-to. So let's make a couple of, actually let's break all this down. Okay, a couple of these. So we're going to be getting rid of all our junk stuff here and making everything out of osmium. So let's do this. We're going to make a couple of pickaxes. So it's got hit points, it's got 500, and the mining speed's like really fast. You can't really tell. Oh, this one's lucky too. Nice! Oh my god, that's like so rare. So we're going to use this to mine. Like plus one looting luck is great. It gives you a chance to mine an extra thing. So for stuff like coal and redstone and diamonds, it gives you the opportunity to get an extra one when you're mining it. So that's fantastic. Um, osmium shovel, no modifiers, and we'll make another pickaxe, or another axe that is. For chopping down trees with so the tool speeds a little faster and then we'll make a sword now I like osmium swords because they do eight damage which is oh this one's got plus one melee damage so nine damage even better that's awesome okay so let's ditch some stuff here we're gonna throw osmium in here for now we're gonna keep the steel shovel i think but these other tools we don't really need so let's just throw you guys out of here and you'll despawn. Now the bad thing about T-Construct tools is they never despawn. They cannot be destroyed unfortunately. Well not unfortunately but it's only because the way it's set up um, you can repair your tools rather than losing them so yeah it doesn't let you uh, um, throw them someplace for them to despawn. Okay so now we got our hammer and we got a good set of tools here so I think what I'll do before I end this uh, we, I mean, we got the T-Construct up and running today, but I'm going to go around the village, and we're going to have a look, because if you get some good trades in a village, like of this size, you can get a full set of diamond armor and diamond pickaxe, things like that, right? You just have to be very shrewd with your trades. So this is Sean the Farmer, and he wants some wheat. So if we get his wheat for him, which I'm thinking we can probably do, it's technically not stealing the wheat. It's just basically doing his job for him. We're just farming the weed for him. So the idea is to kind of get as much as we can. It usually costs about 18 emeralds for a... Well, 16 to 18 for a chest piece, diamond chest piece in the village. Um, 4 to 9 for boots and uh, helmet. And um, for leggings, it's usually 11 or 12 or something like that. Swords are about 11 or 12. Uh, I think the, if I'm not mistaken, I think the pickaxe is around 11 or 12 or something. But the other good thing is you can use, um, is this Sean here? It is Sean. How you doing, buddy? Got some stuff for you. So he's going to level up here and we'll see what he, what all the tr other trades he's got here. But later on we'll be able to, uh, Enderman arms. No, no, no thanks. Uh, we'll be able to um, trade with uh, people um, for diamond gear, and then when, when we have a pulverizer, we'll be able to break that diamond gear down into diamonds. Yeah, see, this guy wants 17 for a diamond chest piece. So, I mean, if we're shrewd and we're able to do a lot of trading in this village, um, we should be able to uh, get what we need here. So let's sleep tonight. I'm just moving my bed out of the way because I don't want to pick up those items. Doesn't really matter where I sleep. All right, so let's go do a little bit more trading. See what these guys got. Now the guards usually have half decent trades. Uh, once again, chess piece. Um, 
Sil silicone's not hard to get. It's just really sand, but we need uh, some tools to get it. Three for two Certus quartz dust. That's not a good trade. Uh, Evan wants eight for one, and this house is completely destroyed. Two for two, that's an awful trade. I mean, it may come down to the fact we have to do it. Oh my god. I guess the guards killed an Enderman here last night or something. There must have been a boss mob because there's a web here. Good work, guys. Thanks for the free Ender Pearl. Alright. He wants iron. I usually don't go for the trades that, like, ask for iron or things like that. He's got 9 for a regular axe. 19 coal, which we do have. What else do we have here? Cleric. Ooh, 3 glowstone. We're going to take that trade. Oftentimes the clerics you can get things like redstone and stuff from. So iron short sharpness too, not a big deal. Uh, nice hat, buddy. How do you see to work with that? I'm going to actually take this trade. Serious course dots, because I think uh, we'll be able to trade that out. 12 for a diamond sword. Yeah, see, I mean, like, if you are if you spend the time and you're shrewd enough, you can go through the village and actually uh, get some half-decent trades here. Baker, don't really need. Another cleric. What do you got? Experience. You want iron. And you want books. Um, yeah, there's, like, so many people here. But I think that's going to be... I mean, I could spend all day going around trying to find trades from these guys. Hmm. Then the other thing, too, is trying to keep track of who you've talked to and who you haven't. It's kind of difficult because a lot of them look the same. So... I know they've done their best to try and vary all of the skins here. But... Um, you still end up talking to the same people over and over again sometimes. Alright, what do you got? Do you want anything? Do you want anything? Oh yeah, you're the weak guy. Alright, well let's... So Sean... Lots of wheat over here we can get for you. So I think once we trade again here with Sean... We'll uh, end our trading for the day. Because this can go on forever. Like I've spent... I know I hate to say this, but hours sometimes just getting good trades in a village and walking out with a full set of like diamond armor and stuff. And you can kind of you can kind of say it's cheating because you didn't go down a mine for it, but if you're going to spend a, an hour to mine for diamonds, you might as well spend an hour training in a village. It's less boring. Well, I mean it can be more boring depending on what you like to do, right? But still, it's it's. Um, Less worrisome, because you don't have to worry about getting killed all the time. All right, Sean, good. thought you were going to take off on me there, buddy. All right, one, two, three. That's all we can get from you today. So those trades will max out, too. Like, they can do seven trades, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah. All right, I think we're done for today with the trades. I'm going to go back to the house here. So we got our our um, deconstruct building up and running here, which is good at least. Picked up an ender pearl too. That's awesome. And we got some tools here. So then I think the next time when we come back, uh, we're going to do some hardcore mining because we're definitely going to need to. Uh, let's just do this real quick. Let me show you something here. One of the one of the other reasons why I love the uh, hammer is you can just like. Because it mines nine things at once, it's just so much faster. Boom. All right, so let's put that away. Um, and you can see too, like it's gone down nine, or that's seven. We mined eight things and it went down seven. But it has a higher effective durability. So I'm not sure why that is. All right, no big deal. It's you know better off for me. So we're gonna want to make. Um, do we have enough? We don't have any more iron to throw in there, do we? 
but we do still have some iron in there because we need to get a bucket before we go. If we're going to go mining, I always got to go down with a bucket of water because if you don't... Oh, we got nine left. Perfect. If you don't go down with a bucket of water and you uh, accidentally run into lava by mistake, you're going to need uh, to get some water on yourself before you die. I think what else we'll do, what else we'll do too, is we're just going to cook up that bread inside, so we got some food here, or we could cook up the steak. But, so we got enough iron here. Make a bucket. Make sure we take a bucket of water with us. Oops. Take that with us, and then yeah, I think that's about it for today. Let's uh, do this, and we'll cook up the steaks, and we'll have the steaks to eat when we go down in the underground. All right. Not sure why these are actually on fire, but there's nothing in them. So. Oh yeah, there's. I forgot we had a backpack. That's right. Silly me. Okay, well, we're going to end the episode here for today. I know it's a pretty pretty short one, but uh, tomorrow, uh, I think what we'll do is, uh, or not tomorrow, but the next time, we'll get into uh, going to do some mining. Um, there's a good place nearby. And then what we'll do is we'll build a mining house there. Oh, yeah, I that's right. We were going to get into Miscraft real quick, weren't we? So before I forget, let's just do that real fast, because it actually it's actually pretty quick to build what we need. So we're going to need three, uh, four, five of these guys. Throw them in there. And we're going to need to get a piece of coal. We need to cook those guys. So you need five regular stone. We're going to need to get uh, some glass bottles. So we need this here. And then we'll get our stone out of here. So it's strange that this like, rhyolite cobble and rhyolite stone works as regular stone, but the red sand doesn't work as regular sand for tea constructor stuff. But whatever. So we're going to do this really quick. Actually, while we're waiting for that to cook, we're going to get three iron. Because we need to make a book binder. And we make a book binder by doing this. And three iron across. So there's our book binder. We'll toss that down here. Then we'll grab the rest of our cobblestone here. And our stake while we're at it. Uh, yeah, like that. And we want to do this, and there's our ink mixer. So what we do with the ink mixer and the, uh, let's get some more glass bottles. So we need to fill these bottles with water first, so let's go do that. Bucket of water, and then one, two, three, four. And the reason why we need a lot of ink is because these guys take uh, two ink per bottle of water to make one ink bottle or ink vial. And we need one ink vial per piece of paper that we're going to make here. So you can see to add an ink there and we need paper uh, and a lot of it. So eventually we're going to have a, a farm for paper. So we need to make three, four, at least four linking panels. We're going to make four more uh, bottles of water here. Now, if you've got lots of glass and stuff, you can make tons of ink files ahead of time. It's not like it's not really necessary. Like you can, if you don't mind spending a little time, you can do the same thing I'm just doing here. You can just reuse the same ones over and over again. Yeah, it adds a little bit of time, but saves a little bit of resources and we can just drop these in here. All right, so in order to make books, we need leather, which we got four. And what we need to do first in our book binder is we need to throw a piece of leather in here and we need a linking panel in the book. Now these other sl slots here can be filled with other pages. I don't think we've found any pages yet, but you can actually find other pages that will modify the world you're about to create. But right now we're just going to call this transfer because this is going to be our transfer world where we go to and then come back to this world so we're going to grab the book out of there and we've created a dis descriptive book here so now what we want to do is we want to make a book stand because you can't use these books really unless they're on a stand if you do you end up dropping them 
and we'll put our book right here and right or left click to uh, or sorry right click to drop that on the stand and we got it sorry we're done so wait is it night time yet almost don't want it to go into night so now we're going to use our leather books or leather let's just make three books here and what you do is you create unlinked link books so what we need to do is we need to create a link book back to here or to wherever it is you want to come back to um, so what we're going to do is we will grab normally I make this a different color stone or block or something just so I know where it is I'm coming back to so we're going to throw one piece of sand in there so that's where we're coming back to so we're going to put our link here and then we're going to sleep for the night so the world that we're about to generate is just going to be completely randomly generated world so it could be a nightmare it could be really simple it could be anything but what you want to do is make sure you have your linking book handy uh, because you may need to bail out real quick you could die really fast and I think before we go actually I'm just gonna stop here really quick uh, and I'll come back I want to grab a bunch of stone um, because I want to build a, a house so uh, I'll be back in a minute all right so we're over here at our uh, mining area we've just been doing a bit of mining here but you can see how fast like if you want to actually shape or build a building even with just like an iron tool it's just so quick right and once we get our um, our uh, alumite tool it's going to be even faster so I mean we've got like almost two stacks of cobblestone here I want to grab a bunch because gotta watch out if something doesn't come down on top of me here um, I need to build a house when we get to uh, the world we're about to create um, and the reason for that um, is because I don't know what's going to be generated there. I want to keep myself and my uh, linking books safe. So you, you know, you want to build a uh, um, little protective shelter around you and your uh, your stuff while you're there, just so you don't get jumped, right? All right. So we're back home here, and we'll ditch some stuff. So I killed a couple zombies while I was down there. Found some coal. Uh, cracked stone bricks are from this house, doesn't matter. We're going to take all of the stone, we're going to leave. Uh, we don't need that, we don't need that on me. Generally we don't need most of this stuff, but we'll take it with us anyway. Uh, we are going to need the cobblestone for sure. Uh, probably going to need some torches, so let's take, let's take some torches here. Um, and definitely put five. So take 20 torches. Alright, so we should be good, so let's go and check this new world out. Sometimes it'll take a while for it to load here. The first world usually does take a while, but once it's, once it's uh, been generated it's easier to go back and forth to. And once again this is like a whole new world to explore too, so if you end up with a half decently generated world it's another place you can go and explore and check stuff out. But for right now this is just going to be a linking world. I just call it transfer like I said just because every book that I lay down in the main world is going to link to here and then we'll have a linking book to go back home and to back to where we linked from so I can travel pretty quickly throughout my main world through the transfer world and this is actually a really boring looking world but it's actually an incredibly safe world so there's a moon spiders let's just quickly build here before we get overrun by mobs it's a dark world, which isn't necessarily a good thing. As long as we don't have a ton of zombies around us. I want to get at least two high here real quick. Spiders I can deal with. So once again, this is a reason why you really want to like um, make sure you come with cobblestone and stuff to build a house. And I'm lagging a little bit. It's still, gen it's still uh, generating the world a little bit here. Usually I come with two stacks. Um, yeah, see there's huge trees there, right? And I'm getting major lag spikes as it's generating what's going on here. Like, check that out, right? And this is all ice. So for now, we're just going to 
um, bury ourselves in here. Yeah, I'm getting huge lag spikes here. But like I said, it's just a transfer world, so we're not really worried about that. So let's light it up inside here. Normally I'll, I'll light the root up, roof up and everything too, but... Oh shoot, we didn't bring any wood. Well, that's going to be a problem. Now we have to link back this way. Um, so shift, right click. Now we're going to drop that book, unfortunately. I'll have to go back and pick it up. Um, but just in case we can't find it, we're going to have another linking book here to come back. Um, but we do need wood here, and I don't think I have any, so let's just quickly go outside. Ugh. We'll see how quickly this uh, Osmium Axe can pick us up some wood. Alright. Just a little bit. Let's just plant a couple trees here. And go back. So let's just quickly go back to that world. We should be able to just quickly do this. Make a couple of stands. We'll head back. So the second time you go back, it's actually a little faster, as you can see. And right there is where we want gonna want to put our yeah, see there's the book that we dropped. So now all you have to do is like sneak right click and it picks it up and we can just right click and put it on here. We've got our extra backup book. So now we want to take this uh, unlinked book and we want to link here. Because what we're going to do with this guy is that's the guy we're going to carry around with us um, so that when we're in the main world we can always link back to this point at any time and then we can take this book and go back home. So that's going to be awesome. So that's Mistcraft. That's pretty simple. I mean, like, for traveling, Mistcraft is really, really easy to get up and running. And if you love to explore your world, uh, I suggest using it if you can. Because, like I said, it's a simple it's a simple mod to use. Really, all you need is, like, you know, a little bit of iron, some glass and stuff. Um, makes it easy to travel through your own world. Plus, it makes it easy to, you know, if you want to go explore other worlds, you can make them and do that. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then we have an overworld linking book just in case we decide to go exploring in the other world. Now this linking book will come back here like we had it. Um, so it's not very useful because we can't use it in the main world that we're in now. The linking books will only link to opposite, like a, to another world basically or another planet or wherever. Um, it won't link to the same realm you're in. So you'll need to uh, um, make sure you have a transfer world to go to and come back from. So we're going to need to get some more leather in order to be able to create another linking book elsewhere. But for now, we're just going to end it here. And uh, hopefully next time we'll get into a little bit of exploring. Uh, we want to find a place that we're going to really call home. This is just a temporary place for now, uh, just to get some tools and get things up and running. Uh, might do a little bit of mining, just to see if we can get some more gold. Um, maybe between episodes or something like that, just to get some materials up and running. Um, but then we're going to go searching for a place to set up and build a fortress. Um, yeah, so we're going to end it here, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe.